<laughs> David Bennett. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, this year, there have been two main political issues that have dominated the course of the political environment. And the first has been the, um, the movement towards getting a surplus, and the second has been the Trans-Pacific Partnership Trade Agreement. And in both cases, um, the government has been vindicated this week for the work that we have done in this area, and the opposition has been shown to be false, misleading, and, um, and taking the public down the wrong track in regard to both of these issues. And let's start with some quotes in regard to the opposition parties. The first of all, looking at the surplus that has been achieved today, a great surplus of $414 million, and I think we should thank the Honourable Bill English and his team for achieving such a good surplus. But let's have a look at what Andrew Little said on the budget statement. A lot of effort has gone into glossing over the broken promise, but I see it for what it is, one of the biggest political deceptions in a lifetime. One of the biggest political deceptions in a lifetime. That's what the Labour leader said. And he said, when the government willfully and deliberately makes a promise they know they cannot keep in a general election campaign, that is a huge deception. Well, today, we have delivered on that promise. We have delivered that surplus. There was no deception. There was delivery to the New Zealand public of what we promised. Let's have a look what Mr Winston Peters said about and the, the surplus. said, I will make this prediction right now. This is the person that can make predictions about anything. I will make this prediction right now. Bill English will never ever deliver a surplus. Well, Bill English has delivered a surplus. Where is the infamous leader of the, the New Zealand First Party? And he said more. This is the political test he set himself and he has failed. Well, he has succeeded in that test and he has delivered a surplus for New Zealand. That's if we look at free trade and we go to free trade. And when we come to free trade, we all know the opposition of the Labour Party. They were out protesting at all these meetings around free trade. They sent their apologies if they couldn't make it. Even Mr Winston Peters said this to the protesters in Kerry Kerry. Trust me, I know what we are going to do here. We'll stop them passing this law. That's what the New Zealand First Party is saying about free trade and about the regions. But let's have a look. There is a voice of reason when it comes to free trade in the left. And that comes from the former Prime Minister, Helen Clark, who said, what always haunts one as New Zealand Prime Minister is, will there be a series of trade blocks developed that you're not part of? Because it is unthinkable for New Zealanders as exported oriented small trading nation to miss out on that. So of course it's in New Zealand's best interest to be in the TPPA and we should go for the best deal we can get. That was the immortal Helen Clark from the Labour Party that said that. And this is, a, this is the illustration of the conflicts of interest you have seen through the political debate in the last year. And on that side of the House, they have been against free trade. They have been against getting New Zealand into surplus. On this side, we have been for free trade and we have got New Zealand into surplus. And I say to the new public of New Zealand, that side has never been right. They have never been right. And I say they should say sorry for what they've been saying over the last year to the New Zealand public. And they should say sorry for the scaremongering that they put out to the New Zealand public over the last year about finance and about trade. And they should start backing New Zealand. They should actually go out there and support New Zealand getting free trade agreements and support New Zealand getting into a good economic position. And they need to start being positive. They need to be start being positive for New Zealand and looking for a direction that's forward thinking. And they need to be start to be honest with New Zealand and not trying to mislead the public of this country. And they need to stop being controlled by their union mates that don't want trade agreements. That's what they need to do on that side of the House. And they need to start advocating for regional economy. They need to stop going on TV and saying they represent farmers and then come into this House and vote against farmers producers, manufacturers and stopping free trade agreements. They need to be honest with New Zealanders for once. They need to actually stand up for what will deliver for this country and they need to stop being the scaremongering, negative, bad people that they are that are taking this country down, Mr Speaker. <laughs>